Hi, today we will see how to start filtering spam with the Exchange 2007 content filter. On our agenda, we have the content filter installation, configuration of filtering thresholds, and the junk email folder enablement. Following these steps, the content filter will start blocking spam. Next, we install IMF Tune, upgrading this vanilla filter to a feature rich enterprise grade solution. The entire process is so simple that we will be ready in a matter of a few minutes. The Exchange 2007 content filter is a transport agent and may be employed on a server running the Edge or Hub transport server roles. The content filter is included out of the box with the Exchange 2007 Edge server. Same goes for Small Business Server 2008 Exchange Hub Transport. Here, the content filter is installed ready to be configured. Apart for SBS 2008, the content filter is not installed on Hub Transport Server by default. In this case, if we had no Edge server, the filter could be installed manually by running the install anti spam agent script. So let's start from an Edge server. At the Management Console, under the Edge Transport node, we have the Anti-Spam Property page that includes the Content Filter Agent. Now let's move to a Hub Transport server, where the Content Filter is not already installed. On a Hub server, the Anti-Spam Property page should be located under the Organization Hub Transport node. There is no Anti-Spam Property page yet. So let's run install anti spam agents.ps1 from the shell. The script returns the list of components installed, including the content filter. Note how we are also warned to restart the Exchange Transport service. We do this straight away from the Service Control Manager. OK, we now reopen the management console. And here is the anti spam property page. Note how the content filter is shown enabled as it should be. Let's open the content filter property sections page. Here we have three gateway blocking thresholds for deleting, rejecting, and quarantining emails. The checkboxes enable these actions. On the right, we have the thresholds. Emails with SCL rating greater or equal to the configured threshold are blocked. Here, I am just showing you the basic configuration elements. However, note that when running the content filter together with IMF Tune, all these gateway actions should be kept disabled. All checkboxes should be cleared. We will return to this point later. Now, let's have a look at the other property pages. Moving to custom words. Here we could enter keywords for accepting and blocking emails. At the exceptions page, we identify recipients whose emails won't be filtered. These recipients would receive all emails straight to their inbox. Again, when employing the content filter with IMF Tune, we recommend not using the functionality provided by the custom words and exceptions pages. All this and much more can be configured at IMF Tune, achieving better filtering results. We now move to the shell. The content filter settings can be viewed using the Get Content Filter Config commandlet. Likewise, we can change these using set content filter config. For example, here I am enabling the reject threshold and setting it to 7. So far we only played with gateway blocking thresholds that aren't even necessary when employing IMF Tune. So you will probably be asking, what about the junk folder threshold? We use the set organization config commandlet and specify the SCL junk threshold parameter as shown. An important point to keep in mind is that emails will only move to junk if the SCL rating is greater than the junk threshold. If the threshold is set to 4 and the email also has a rating of 4, then this goes to the inbox. 
OK, we are done with the content filter configuration for the moment. Let's have a look at the user mailbox. It is worth noting that each mailbox has a junk folder enablement switch. On creating a new mailbox, the junk folder is disabled and no spam is deposited. Luckily, Outlook 2003 and later will enable the folder automatically on opening the mailbox for the first time. If we want to control the junk folder manually, we have to log on to Outlook Web Access and change the setting from there. This point is very important. Even if running Outlook 2003 or later, to manually change the junk folder enablement, we use OA. Click Options. Scroll down to the junk email category. And select automatically filter junk email. Don't forget to click save at the end. Another way to enable the junk folder functionality is through scripting. This is available from the address shown here. You can copy this URL from the PowerPoint slides included with the tutorial. It is now a good idea to test the system and confirm that everything is working. Here I sent a spam email that was deposited to the junk folder. Opening the message details, we can see the headers. Scrolling down, we find the XMS Exchange Organization SCL header that was inserted by the content filter. This confirms the filter is working and depositing emails to junk. So far, we got the content filter to work. Next step is the IMF Tune installation. Download this from the Win Developer site. Here we choose the download for IMF Tune for Exchange 2007 64 bit. We proceed with the installation. OK, here we have a warning alerting us that one of the gateway actions is enabled. So let's go back to the console and disable the reject action. While at it, we also remove the custom words and exceptions configured earlier. That's it. We could proceed with configuring IMF Tune. If this were our first time installation, IMF Tune would run as evaluation for 30 days. Today, we will not discuss configuring IMF Tune further. For this, I refer you to our video tutorial library. To conclude, let's have a look at the system we just set up. Emails are first processed by the Exchange 2007 content filter. This assigns an SCL value and hands over to IMF Tune. IMF Tune applies its filtering and determines the final SCL rating. If necessary, IMF Tune could now reject, delete, or route emails itself. From here, we see why gateway blocking should not be applied at the content filter when IMF Tune is employed. Emails blocked at the content filter never reach IMF Tune. This causes emails to be handled inconsistently. For example, Let's say you configure IMF Tune to generate a CSV report for all rejected emails. The report would only show emails rejected by IMF Tune, but won't show those rejected by the content filter. This completes our presentation. For more information, please refer to the following links. More tutorials are available at the video tutorial section. Until then, thanks for watching.